Hi. Let's ask Miss Utterheld because we designed Miss Utterheld. She's very smart, you know. She has a very nice um, uh, uh, coverall and she has two hands with gloves. You see that? So she's she's a specialist and she's in control. She knows what she's doing. She works on low infection pressure and she works on high resistance. She knows everything about milking and she knows everything about treatment. Infection pressure and resistance. That's the two things we're going to look at. So first one. How do we lower infection pressure? How can we lower that? Well, you have to know which cow is sick and treat her. Treat an isolated infected cow is the first big thing. But do you know which cows are uh, infected? And with what bacteria? You don't probably, but you can work on that. You have to know. Secondly, um, you want to have a clean and dry surroundings. Clean and dry and fresh barn. That's what you need. Clean, dry and fresh. And then you have all the environmental bacteria that also uh, can be, can be uh, uh, diminished. And you see the different bacteria eh, that are in the barn and in the milk parlor, so you have to work on both. So how do you keep the cows clean? We make a nice checkbook on this. It's a checkbook of cow signals. And the scorecard is telling you uh, what levels do we have and how many cows are clean and dirty. And if you look at this, the clean cows are on 150,000 cells or below. The dirty cows are on 300,000 cells. And we're looking actually at, at um, the udder, we're looking at the thighs, and we're looking at the lower legs. Simple things. Keep your cows cleaner and you will have less infection. Summarize infection, clean cows, clean udders, healthy teeth, so good milking procedures. Work on every cow with a clean towel and gloves. Because you can wash your hands better. You, can, you don't spread so much between cows in the milk parlor. And uh, knowing which cow is sick or having some clots. So doing a good, good pre-check on every cow and look at the data. And we have, we have standard operating procedures. The standard operating procedures that we have is um, doing the right things always right. And that is, for example, working on a system uh, in a milk parlor. First, you prep four cows. One, two, three, four. Then you walk back to the front and then you, pre you, you collect, you connect four cows. So between the first touch and the connection, one minute or one and a half. And every farm in the world I've been, I do this little check. How quiet are the cows? How much time does it take? And they just losing points there. So make a good procedure and educate your staff.